Hello dear students, welcome to ECE Academy Benefactor. In this class, we will be seeing the design of synchronous counter using the flip flop. Let us start the problem. The topic is from synchronous counter. The unit name is sequential logic circuit. The subject name is digital electronics. The given problem is design synchronous counter using the flip flop for the sequence as shown. So, you can see this state diagram, these are the states 1, 4, 6. So, after third state is going to 0, after 0 it is going to 7, after 7 to 5 and after 5 it is going back to 3 and 1, 4 and 6 states are going to state number 3. This is a given state diagram using this information we need to draw a synchronous counter using day flip flop. So, by looking at the state diagram we need to decide how many flip flops are required. The largest number here is 7. For representing 7 we require 3 bits triple 1. So, it means that we can design this counter using three flip flops D A, D B and D C. Three flip flops are required for this design. So, now let us start the solution. So, first we need to draw the transition table. which is comprising of present state, next state and flip flop inputs. What is the present state? Q A, Q B, Q C. Next states are Q A plus 1, Q B plus 1 and Q C plus 1. So, in the present state, we are having three variables q a, q b, q c. For three variables, we can write total eight combinations starting from triple 0 to triple 1, which is written as in the sequence 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That is triple 0, double 0, 1, triple 0, double 0 1, 0 1 0, 0 double 1, 1 double 0, 1 0 1, 1 1 0 and triple 1. Okay. So, the present state is Q A, Q B, Q C, next state is Q A plus 1, Q B plus 1, Q C plus 1, the flip flop inputs are D A, D B and D C. So, after writing the present state from triple 0 to triple 1, we need to write the next state referring the state diagram. So, what is the state after 0? The state after 0 is 7. So, after 0 what is the state? 7, 7 is represented by triple 1 and after 1 what is the state? Third state, third is 0, double 1, 0, 1, 0 means 2, after 2 what is the next state? 5, that is 1, 0, 1, 0, double 1 that is third state, after third what is the next state? 0. 0 is represented by triple 0, 1 double 0 that is 4, after 4 the state is 3, 3 is 0 double 1, 1 0 1 that is 5, after 5 what is the next state? It is going to 3, 3 is 0 double 1, 1 1 0 is 6, after 6 what is the next state? It is going to 3. 0 double 1, 1 1 1 is 7, after 7 what is the next state? It is going to 2, so next state is 2, 2 is represented by 0 1 0. 
So, we have written present state based on the state diagram we have written the next state. Now, we need to write this flip flop inputs. So, as you know the D, D, X, D flip flop excitation table Q n is a present state Q n plus 1 is the next state for 0 0 D is 0 0 1 D is 1 D input flip flop input. 1 0 0 1 1 1. So, for D flip flop it is very easy to remember the excitation table because whatever is Q n plus 1 the same will be your D. If you look here it is 0 1 0 1 the D is 0 1 0 1. So, you can easily write the D outputs here whatever is the next state here you, you can write it here that is 1 looking at this q a plus 1 you can write it for d a that is 1 0 1 how many zeros then after all are zeros like this. Now, looking at q b plus 1 you can write it for d b d b is double 1 double 0 and then 4 ones. Now, looking at q c plus 1 we can write d c that is 3 ones then 0 triple 1 and then 0. So, in this way we have filled this transition table. Now, we need to simplify the k map for d a, d b and d c. So, what is d a coming to be where the d a is 1 at 0, at 2, 0 and 2 it is 1 coming to d b it is 1 at 0 1 4 5 6 7, 0 1 4 5 6 and 7 and d c this is 0 1 4 5 6 7. Now, coming to D C it is 1 at 0 1 2 0 1 2 4 5 6 4 5 and 6 like this. So, now we need to solve this K map K map for D A how to fill d a you know this three variable k map the cell numbering you must know before filling the k map for d a this is q a q b and q c this is 0 1 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 this is cell number 0 1 2 3 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, now let us fill the k map for d a. So, it will be q a, q b and q c. Okay. So, where do we need to fill for d a? d a is 1 at 0 and 2 that is at 0 and 2. So, it is 0 and 2 we have filled the 1. So, here one grouping is possible like this. So, we, we have made one pair. So, for this pair it is uh, this is q a the variable here is q a common here in this 2 0 is common which is equal to q c. So, d a is coming to be equal as q a q c. that is here it is 0 that is q a bar q c bar. Now, coming to d b, d b is 1 at 0, 1, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So, let us do the grouping there is one quad for this quad it is equal to 1 that is equal to q a and the quad is possible over here. Now, for this quad 0 is common in this two columns 
So, we need to write the variables here as q a, q b and q c. So, here for this squared 0 is common that is equal to q b bar. So, what is d b coming to be as q b bar plus q a. Now, coming to d c, d c is 1 at 0, 1, 2, 4, 5 and 6. We can make a quad over here. For this squared, there is nothing common in these two rows here, 0 is common. So, this is for variables q a, q b and q c. So, here 0 is common which is equal to q b bar. Here one more quad we can make by overlapping like this. So, in this two 0 is common which is equal to q c bar. So, here d c is coming to be equal to q b bar plus q c bar. Okay. So, we got the expressions for d a, d b and d c which is coming to be as q a is equal to d a is equal to q a bar q c bar and d b is equal to q b bar plus q a and d c is equal to q b bar plus q c bar. Okay. Now, let us draw the diagram logic diagram. So, we have taken three flip flops d a, d b and d c. Their outputs are q a, q a bar, q b, q b bar, q c, q c bar. We are designing a synchronous counter. So, we have given the same clock pulse to all the three flip flops and the bubble is indicating that it is negatively edge trigger. So, same clock pulse is given to all the three flip flops. Now, we need to connect d a. What is d a? It is q a bar dot q c bar that is we need an end gate here. What are the inputs of this end gates? Q a bar and Q c bar that is Q a bar. Another one is Q c bar like this. So, what is the output coming here? Q a bar q c bar which is given as input to d a. What is d b equal to? d b is equal to q b bar plus q a. q means an OR gate is required. The one input is q a, another input is coming to be as q b bar. Okay. So, here it is q b bar and this is q a. Now, coming to d c, we need to have q b bar and q c bar. So, we need an OR gate. q b bar and q c bar. Okay. So, here we are getting q b bar plus q c bar and we can take the outputs from q a q b and q c. So, in this way we have designed the synchronous counter. I hope you have understood the class. If you have any queries, you can post in the comment section. Thank you. Good luck students.